Many times we'd like to use not only Photoshop content in our Photoshop files, but also Illustrator content. It's a Photoshop PDF. We know that it's an Illustrator file that's been saved with PDF compatibility. Let's click Place now. Photoshop will present us with this dialog box. You can choose to crop to specific areas that are defined in the PDF or Illustrator file. The default behavior is to choose the bounding box, but you could also choose the media box or, for instance, the art box. The art box will present a tight crop that goes directly to the edge of your artwork. Let's click OK after choosing Art Box. You'll see that it placed this just above the red layer. Photoshop wants us to place this before we can do anything else with our layers. So hit Enter to place it. Now we can move it up above the orange plane. Select it and drag it up. You'll see a black bar that indicates where the Illustrator editing capabilities. Now it's going to warn us that it can't find the linked file Dog and Pony alone. This is a linked file and it is included in your project files folder. We can replace it now. Browse to the Photoshop folder and then pick Dog and Pony alone.psd and then click replace. There we go. So now we have it open in Illustrator, and when we're done making changes, we can simply close it and send it back to Photoshop. I haven't made any changes, so I'm not going to save it. If I had made changes, then those changes would be reflected in the return trip to Photoshop. So Photoshop and Illustrator play very well together by allowing you to place Illustrator files into Photoshop and then edit them back in Illustrator so that you can keep all of the vectorness of that Illustrator file instead of losing it by converting it to raster content inside of Photoshop. You can save this document now if you want, but don't close it as we will be using it in the next lesson.